at the horse shows, lots of times earplugs are helpful if you have a horse that's flighty or sensitive to sound. Most hunter people use earplugs. And there are two kinds. There's the soft, puffy ones, or these I feel block out the noise a little better. They're by Plugs, P-L-U-G-H-Z is how it's spelled. Um, some horses, though, I've, I've found won't tolerate these. They just don't care for them, and they sometimes can get little sores in their ears from them, and then you have to go with these poofy ones. So um, you can get both kinds at any tech shop. So I'll just show you how to put in, you, both, you insert them both the same way. I'll show you how to, to put in the foam ones. And always stand to the side, and you just, He's pretty good about them. I'll show you how to do a horse that's not good about them, but, but for Bally, I can just kind of stick it in there, and I always say press it halfway down to the nostril, <laughs> because you don't want them to get loose, and you're on course, and you're cantering up to the jump, and they're shaking their head, and the ear plug flies out, and it's very distracting. So you really want to push it in there. Lots of times they'll shake their head afterwards. He's not going to. Um, there he goes. And you just want to make sure that it's in there. Um, you do the same thing on the other side. Um, if you have a horse that's really difficult to get them in, I've found, and again, everything's done from the side in case he slaps out and you know, gets upset and slaps out. Um, we have one horse that really doesn't like them, and so what I would do is I'd start here, I'd just get him used to it, kind of play with his ear, scratch his ear, and then I'd just kind of sneak it in there. So that's another way to do it. Always remember to take them out. It's a real easy thing to do after your class. Go back and um, take the bridle off and forget the earplugs. So again, to take them out, you just gently grab it and pull it out.